On March the 7th, 2024, Nikon Corporation announced its entry into an agreement to acquire 100% of the outstanding membership interests in Red.com, LLC, otherwise known as Red. They announced that Red will become a wholly owned subsidiary of Nikon. And of course, this is pursuant to the sign-off by James Jannard, its founder, and Mr. Jared Land, the current president. And of course, the legalese, subject to the satisfaction of certain closing conditions. And all those closing conditions, well, they've now been met. All interested parties, well, they've signed off. Nikon is now the proud owner of their own cinema division, and a pretty good one. In fact, I'd go out on a limb to say that Nikon now has a better cinema department than, well, Sony and even Canon. Okay, well, Sony, I do understand that Sony with the Venice cameras and other cameras have some very good stuff, and I'm not saying that isn't the case, but in terms of from all the way from the red Komodo all the way up to the really high-end red cameras, I think this position Nikon is to be in one of the leading positions. Maybe not today, obviously, with around, what, 14, under 20% market share. But this could change things, and change things in a big way. And as part of this deal signed on April the 12th, 2024, Red's president, Jared Land, and Red's founder, James Jannard, have resigned from their leadership roles and become advisors. And that definitely tells us who's in control over at Red, but not as much as this next move. Nikon's Kenji Oishi from the Imaging Business Unit now assumes the role of Red's CEO. And Tommy Rios, the Executive Vice President of Red, now moves into the role of co-CEO. This leaves no doubt as to who's in control of Red. When we had the litigation over the past couple of years, it kind of sent some shockwaves through the industry. Red was getting serious about protecting their patents. Little did we suspect that when the deal was, um, how should we say, settled with, out, what was that legal term, without prejudice? that we would end up seeing Nikon wholly consume red. And this really is a big deal. As you can imagine, having all that intellectual property, all the patents, now being under one roof with Nikon, having their own cinema division called red, that is a really big deal. That is huge, that is very significant. Because now what we can see is when you take a look at all the patent technologies in red's sensors, for example, and I'll get to those in just a moment, some of the impressive sensors, we can start to see those come out to Stills Hyper cameras. Now, not the Z50 or the Z30, but maybe not even the Z6 Mark IV. But when it comes to the Nikon Z8 Mark, Mark II or the Nikon Z9 Mark II, we could potentially see some global shutter sensors that, well, pale in comparison to what Sony has in the A9 Mark III. Because RED currently offers an 8K global shutter sensor with 17 to 20 stops of dynamic range. The Red V Raptor X and XL come with 17 stop standard. But if you enable extended highlights, well, it gives you up to 20 stops of dynamic range by just sacrificing certain resolutions or refresh rates. Many long-term Nikon customers such as Behagen have been asking for the past couple of years, where is Nikon's response to the Sony FX3, the FX30, the A7S III, the Canon R5C, the Canon C70. Well, Vahagen, we now have your answer. It's the purchasing of RED. And while Nikon has answered Vahagen's questions, the most affordable RED camera is currently the Komodo 6K at $59.95. And prices rapidly go up from there. And I mean way up, not just $20,000, $30,000, but well north of $60,000. I mean, simply producing an 8K sensor, a global shutter sensor that's capable of up to 20 stops of dynamic range isn't going to be cheap. It's not something you're going to see in a camera less than $1,000 or likely less than $2,000. But it's really hard to see where Nikon's going to go with their patent applications, not only theirs, but the ones they gained from the acquisition of RED. But I do see that a lot of the benefits we're going to get from this, we're going to see it in more of the mid-prosumer level to the pro-level cameras like the Nikon Z8, the Nikon Z9, and their various children. And the key point of this video is that this acquisition of RED by Nikon is final. It's not some sort of partnership agreement where they're, they've entered into some sort of agreement to work together over the next couple of years. No, that this is a final purchase, a wholly owned purchase of RED by Nikon, 
giving them their own cinema division, giving them, all, giving them their own intellectual property. And that's a very big deal because not only can we continue to see really impressive cinema cameras released by the Red Division, but we can also see some of those technologies carry over to the Stills hybrid line, like I already said on the Z8 and the Z9 and the Mark IIs perhaps. And in case you were looking for any deals on Red cameras, the Red Komodo isn't on sale nor is the Red V Raptor X or XL. In fact, I couldn't find any sales on Red cameras. So I'm sorry about that. I wish I could deliver some good news to you. Um, maybe in a few months now, the Red V Raptor X and XL was just recently announced, I believe about four or five months ago. A really terrific camera. It's something I wish I could have myself, but I just don't have the revenue to justify a very base level camera of $29,995. <laughs> it's pretty expensive. And then, of course, all the add-ons, you're easily up to around forty, fifty, dollars or even $60,000. But if you are looking at purchasing any cameras right now, we do see the Nikon Z8 on sale, the Nikon Z6 Mark II, the Nikon Z7 Mark II, many lenses, as well as the Canon EOS R5 for $29.99 at Adorama b and and Amazon. And at Adorama, they'll even throw in a 128GB CF Express Type B card and card reader. So there are lots of deals on right now, just nothing from Red, nothing at this point. And your best deal to get, or your best chance to get a deal from Red is actually purchased through the commercial line. And that way you're not gonna have to pay retail. But for anybody who's looking at purchasing gear uh, from Adorama b &H or Amazon.com that don't have commercial accounts, then please consider using my affiliate links down below. These guys right here. I do get a small commission back of a between, between two and 12% back, which goes right back into supporting this channel. And a big thanks to everybody that has used my affiliate links in the past. A big thanks to all of you that watch on a daily basis. Scott, you're always there. John, you're always there. One of the first few to comment. And um, not just for that, not just for watching, but for commenting, liking, disliking, providing your feedback. It's all very much appreciated. So thank you so much for tuning in. Have yourself a great day. And we'll see you again soon, hopefully with some more good news on what Nikon has planned for their new cinema division. <laughs> It still surprises me. I mean, it's great news, isn't it? That they have their own cinema division. Talk about the biggest news of 2024. <laughs> Nikon's red cinema division. It's all locked up, guys. Anyway, anyhow, have yourself a great day. We'll see you again soon.